Hi, I'm Luke, and today I'm going to show you how to design a minimalistic animal logo. So first, we're going to need to decide on an animal to base this logo on. I think I'm going to go with panda, because a little bit like me, they're clumsy. And also, I just love pandas. So let's take a look at some references to start with so we can get an idea, maybe compile a few and then start on our sketch. Now to begin with, the sketch might hold a little bit more detail than we actually want to include in the end design, but that's okay. It's all about getting the visual right and then taking bits away while still making sure it looks right to achieve that minimalistic feel. We want the logo icon to work with and without the company name so that if the icon is placed on certain products like t-shirts, it doesn't look out of place. So now we've finished the sketch, we want to import the image into Adobe Illustrator and turn our attention to the pen tool. With the pen tool selected, you're going to want to trace around the sketch. The pen tool allows for those smooth curves and line work. We're going to keep the logo a single color. We're going to work with black. Single color works well with minimal logo design and if the design works well in black, it will work well in full color also. Uh, as it's a panda design, probably just going to stick with black and white anyway. Now we have the icon finished, let's look at adding a name. Um, font choice and placement are important and you'll see me tweaking those and playing around until I'm happy. I think for the name we're going to go with Bamboo Gaming. Um, I love pandas and I love gaming, so let's mash up the two. You can see the logo icon sat by itself and with the name, both work well and that's the outcome you want. Now let's have a little look at what these look like in practice. I'm going to place it on a t-shirt mock-up. As you can see, designing a minimalistic logo does not have to be difficult. It's just a case of getting the base image down in your sketch and then taking away until you're happy with the result and it still looks like the subject is meant to look like. Now guys, I do hope you found the process helpful today. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop them down in the comments. I'll try answer as best as I can. Until next time, stay creative.